And after tonight, the city of Bryan City Council will look a lot different as we have six positions up for election. Now, KAG's Justin Woodard joins us live from Bryan, and there's a lot of eyes on these races. Isn't that right, Justin? Thank you, William. I'm live just around the corner from the Brazos uh, County Elections Admin Office, one of the 25 voting sites in Brazos County. The Bryan City Council race will be fun to watch this evening. There's no doubt about that with six of the seven seats up for grabs, including at the top, of course, Andrew Nelson's time as Brian Mayer is coming to an end after he's served since 2016. So without further ado, let's talk about the Brian Mayer race tonight and show you who all is running. The candidates include Bobby Gutierrez, Brent Hairston, and Mike Sutherland. Bobby's main talking points so far have been about fiscal responsibility, supporting law enforcement, and economic development. If elected, meanwhile, Brent would focus on economic development as well, public safety, infrastructure around Brian, including roads and parks, and all also responsible tax relief. Mike, meanwhile, hopes his experience pays off in this race. He knows how the system works and all the details to go with it. He wants to focus on tax rate and wants to remind everyone that people come first in his mind. His other goals are safety for law enforcement and also the fire department. So we'll see how the mayor race shakes out this evening. Let's move on now to the single member district races. We start at District 1 where Raul Santana and Paul Torres are aiming to be on the Bryan City Council. From District 2, you have Ray Arrington and Rafael Pena III going against each other. So we'll see how those two battle as the evening goes on. From District 3, you have Jared Salvato and Doris Machinsky hoping to earn the seat in Bryan City Council. We're going to skip District 4 because there's no race on the ballot for District 4. But from District 5, it's a three-person race. A.J. Reynolds. Marka Ewers, Shirtliff, and Kyle Schumann going at it for that. And then last but not least, the at-large race is between Kevin Borisky and Patrick Giamalva. So if you got all that straight, all the names there, we'll keep you updated as the night goes on. Remember, you have until 7 o'clock to be in line to cast your vote before all the polls close. Again, the Bryan City Council race will be fun tonight if you want to put it that way. I'm a sports guy, so I'll use that terminology. Six of the seven seats up for grabs, including at the top for mayor at 10 o'clock. We plan to be live with the front runner, uh, front runner of the mayor race, so stay tuned for that tonight at 10 o'clock. For now, reporting live in Bryan, Justin Woodard, KAGS News. Yeah, thank you, Justin. And now on to Brian ISD, where people are aiming for a seat on the school board. For place three, it's Leo Gonzalez against incumbent Fran Duane. And the other spot open is for place five, and that's Alton Tiger Burton III against David Stasny. And now transitioning over to the city of College Station. A similar picture to Brian with several of their city council seats, even the mayor is up for grabs. Now our KX Sarah Wilson joins us live from AM, where voters have been lining up all day. Yeah, William, I've been seeing students come here and cast their ballots all day here at the MSC on Texas A&M University's campus. And the polls are about to close in less than an hour. And I have the names of those candidates running for each of these seats. For the mayoral candidate for the city of College Station, there's Rick Robison, John Nichols, and Jacob Randolph. Moving over to city council for place one, you have Mark Smith, Aaron Collins, and then you move over to place two. Two candidates again, we have David Levine and William Wright. Then lastly, we'll have the City of College Station special election for place five. And those candidates are Nicole Gallucci, Bob Yancey, and Willie B. Blackman. And those are the candidates for city council and for those mayoral seats for the city of College Station. And as those results roll in, we'll have those numbers later on tonight on, on CAGS News at 10. Don't forget. As long as you're in line by 7 p.m., you can still cast your ballot. And to see a list of those voting locations, go to kagstv.com. Back to you, William. Yeah, thank you, Sarah.